Hi everyone, Andrew here with another episode of East Coast Tech. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on an older CPU and how it related to today's market. So I thought I'd do a video about GPUs as a follow-up in the same fashion. So today I'll be pitting up NVIDIA's latest three generations of graphics cards from their GeForce line and answer the age-old question, should I upgrade my GPU? First up is the GeForce GTX 780. This is a Kepler architecture based chip that was released in 2013 and was optimized for DirectX 11. Key features include GPU Boost 2.0 and Nvidia Sly capability. The model I'm using here is an EVGA variant with the ACX cooler and 3GB of VRAM. Second up is the GTX 980, also from EVGA. And this one boasts 4GB of VRAM and the ACX 2.0 cooler. And this GPU runs on the newer Maxwell architecture, which includes features such as multi-framed anti-aliasing, dynamic super resolution, and voxel global illumination. This was also the first series of graphics cards to offer NVIDIA's proprietary G-Sync technology, which is a more fine-tuned version of adapted V-Sync found on NVIDIA's older cards. Last in our lineup is the reference GTX 1070. Unfortunately, I could not get my hands on an EVGA 1070 with the ACX 3.0 cooler on it, but it shouldn't affect too much in our testing other than thermals, so as long as I keep everything running at stock settings, we should be okay here. And uh, the reference design does come with 8GB of VRAM. On a side note, I didn't feel it was worth testing a 1080 card here, only because it uses that new GDDR5X RAM versus the traditional GDDR5 RAM found in all of the other cards here in this test. Um, the 1070 is also a more popular card, I believe, amongst the PCMR, so that was also a factor in my decision. The tests I'll be running here include 3D Mark's Fire Strike, Unigen Heaven, and MSI's Combustor. I'll also run a 4 March stress test just to check the graphics card's thermals under load, and I'll run the tests at 1080p. And one more thing, I'll be testing this all on my mini ITX rig, which has a 4690K chip from Intel and 16GB of RAM. First up is the 780. It's no surprise here that this was the worst performing card of the bunch, and uh, starting with Fire Strike, we can see that we have a score of 10,025 with a min FPS of 40 and a max of 49. Uh, for a game, this would be playable, but it's only a synthetic benchmark, and I suspect that we get some uh, worse results with a AAA title or even more recent games. Unigen Heaven gives us a score of 2612 as well as a min and max FPS of 9 and 290. Um, this will make more sense as we go to the next card, um, but lastly is MSI's Combustor, which comes out at a 6353 score and an average FPS of 105 frames per second. Next is the 980. Here, Firestrike gives us a score of 15,971, with a min FPS of about 58, and our max at about 70. So we're already starting to see a large increase in performance. Anywhere around 60 FPS is a great A viewing experience, and would result in buttery smooth gameplay. Unigen Heaven tops out at a score of 37.5, considerably higher as well to our 780, with its min and max at about 9 and 304 respectively. We get a significantly larger score on the Combustor benchmark, coming out at 9214 with an average FPS of 153. So for the 1070, we are out of the gate with a score of 15,971, drastically increased from the 980 score. Our min and max FPS were 64 and 78 respectively. Heaven grants us a score of 4019, also larger than the 980s, although for some reason the FPS counter ended up having a lower max FPS, but a higher minimum, and uh, this could be due to the fact that we rendered everything in 1080p versus 1440p, which is kind of the 1070 sweet spot. Lastly, the MSI Combustor ranks us at 93.24 for a total score, and an average FPS of 155, which is not much of a difference over the 980. I tend to take these benchmarks with a grain of salt, only because you're never really sure what you're going to experience in-game. 
considering how each individual experience is going to be different, you never know how many frames per second you're going to get while playing Overwatch or Rise of the Tomb Raider or any other graphics intensive game. These benchmarks do, however, tell a very good story in how they perform against each other. It's no surprise here that the 1070 takes home the gold with the 980 in second and the 780 in tow, but that's not really what we were trying to ask anyway. We're trying to figure out whether or not we should be upgrading our GPUs. The short version? Yes. But let me explain. For those with a pre-900 series card, upgrading would give you the best benefit. From our tests, we can see that the largest jump in performance was between the 780 and the 980. The thermals also improved greatly between the generations, with the 780 card hovering at a toasty 90 degrees Celsius under load, and the, and the 980 card coming in at around 80 degrees. The 10 series cards improve on that performance and heat output even further. So if you got an older card, you should definitely be looking at a 900 or 10 series graphics cards for an upgrade. Oh, and by the way, AMD does have good cards like the RX 480 and I do recommend that, but that's like a whole other topic and we're just gonna stick with Team Green for this <laughs> episode here. Um, later on, if I do get my hands on some AMD cards, I'll definitely do a AMD version to this video. But until then, uh, sorry? Thanks for watching guys, this was Andrew with East Coast Tech, if you like this video hit that like button, get subscribed, and I'll catch you in the next one.